not too much on how I look and not too much on my hair because I slept without a bonnet last night. Sometimes you want to just sleep without a bonnet. Well, right now, before I start like getting into like the cleaning part of this like reset video or whatever, I am going to the movies with my brother to see Black Panther. Thought it would be good to film this weekend too because like I didn't want like all reset videos to just be like, you know what? Resetting isn't just cleaning your house. You know what I'm saying? It's doing stuff on the weekend too after like a long work week or a long school week and all that good stuff. So I'm going to see Black Panther, period. It is 1043. We're going to see the movie at 12:30. Kind of late, but not really. Like, not really. I'm about to do my hair and then I'm going to get in the shower. I usually do my hair before I get in the shower so that way it's done. So because my hair is already up in this bun, I might just keep the bun. So it was in a low bun for a couple days, so I took it out of a low bun because anyways, it was hurting. So I think I'm gonna do a high pump. But yes. Okay guys, so I'm ready. My hair looks cute. I'm not a big top bun girl. Well, I don't I really like puffs. I'll do a top bun. But it always looks better when I actually have a fit on. So this is for you can't see it. I'm gonna show you what jacket I'm wearing. Hold on, I got this varsity jacket from Shein. It'll be cute and it'll keep me warm. As warm as I need to be, so. This is what I'm wearing. I wore this. The last time I wore this, I was online when I was crossing. So I haven't worn it since. But okay, so it's 12.05 and the movie starts 12.30. It takes 15 minutes to get there. So I'm running late because I was on the phone with Holly and Jordan because it's her grad shoot today. So yes. So I'm going to put some gel, especially right here because they're like sticking up. And I don't like that. Okay. Cute. Hi. Okay, guys, so I'm at H&M. And I didn't tell you this, but I have a holiday Christmas party coming up. So since I'm already at the mall, I might as well look for something to do. Because I don't even know what you would wear to a holiday Christmas party. A work one. I don't know. So. Hi. So lean in when I say this, like if we were talking one-on-one. -on -one. I'm very concerned that we slap labels on things to avoid having to work toward overcoming them. You know, you preach about this, but you don't know that I'm going through that. So don't tell me this when I'm going through that. That's fine. There's no place in the family of God to shame people for what they struggle with. I am not one of these preachers who teaches you that if you have a dark day, it's because there's an unconfessed sin in your life. If I were to preach that to you, God would smack me. I'd fall off this stage and die. I'd have a cracked open skull. God knows I've had dark days. God knows I've had seasons that I couldn't figure out. God knows sometimes I've done exactly what I thought he wanted me to do, and it failed, and I wondered why. So I will never do that to you. 
I would never accuse you of saying like, if you struggle with anxiety, you don't trust God. That's just not what I believe. I don't believe that if you struggle with anxiety, you don't trust God. But I am concerned that you will accept anxiety as the norm of your life just because you can name it that. And it's becoming really popular for us to just say, oh, I have anxiety, I can't go there. Well, if you do have anxiety, let's get treatment, let's get help. Let's get therapy. Let's learn mechanisms. Let's start studying. Let's get let's get through it little by little, bit by bit. I'll be here for you. I'll talk you through it. You can cry to me about it, but that's not going to stop me from possessing the peace that God promised me just because I can say I struggle with it. Struggle is not surrender. Struggle means I'm coming up out of this. I'm moving forward from this. I'm going to do this for my kids, for them. talked to you guys all morning it's sunday so i went to church i didn't like go to church because i just watched it live but i did that and then i edited my video that's going up today and i uploaded it and everything so that's done and then after that i cleaned up my closet because it's really messy because it's mariah's birthday last weekend so it was a lot of a lot of stuff going on so cleaned up my closet straightened up my room now i'm about to go take the trash put my clothes in the washer and then I also have to go back to the mall today to get that dress that I saw H&M yesterday um, for my work cocktail party um, but yesterday when I was gonna buy it their servers was down or something so I couldn't use my card I could only use cash but I wasn't going to the ATM so I was just like okay like I'll just come back tomorrow it's no big deal so I'm about to go pick it up for the end of day which is six um, they also gave me 15% off so now I'm really getting it then after that I'm, I have to go to the store to get some oil because a lot of oil so I can make dinner so that's what we're doing right now so yeah and then I should be done for the night um this like little reset routine is like pretty chill really focused on like just enjoyment and not like cleaning and stuff so that's why it's like slight cleaning because it's not really that much to do so with that being said yeah we're about to go it's four o'clock also so yeah I've been up since 8 45 editing we're gonna head out I will I'm